Okay, and we are back. Here is Red Robin number four. Um, this might... Uh, I'm not sure if I want to... I was only going to keep this for about four issues so I can just see how the first story arc concluded, but I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence about continuing the title. Um, okay, we cut to Tim Drake as Red Robin driving back into Gotham, and all of a sudden he gets a spot flat on him, and it's Batman, Dick Grayson. Then... We got Tim on Iraq, he's in, he's getting the trio of assassins Ross sent to help him out, or there, and he's about to grab on his desks, then all of a sudden we hear freeze, Iraq, you know, American soldiers come up and hold guns to Tim, and they're saying that Alvin Draper has a, Alvin Draper, his alias, has been wanted for questioning because of a break in Germany. And Tim's frustrated, thinking to himself, stupid, 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 getting sloppy. Then the assassins help him out by saying they're Wayne security and that they're here to help help Mr. Drake. Then Tim switches his IDs and and mentions that Bruce Wentz is his adopted father. They let him go, and then we cut to back to Berlin, where where Lucius Fox's daughter is getting. He's trying to find out where Tim is. Then we cut back to Tim. Tim in his hotel room where Roz, where he calls Roz Al Ghul his new Alfred, which is odd. And then we get to see what the artifact is he took from issue three is. It's a fossilized batarang. Very interesting. Um, in case, okay, I'm not going to mention it yet till we get to the major clue. Anyways, Tim's. Okay, and then the trio of assassins eventually helps him. Helps him. He states the one Z who helped him out mentioned that they've met before, back when Roz was trying to resurrect himself, and and that eventually since and that without Roz in his life he had no purpose. So he's trying to return the favor, I guess. Then we cut. Then we cut to a, a valley. Tim trusts his red Robin is trying to figure. Is looking for clues. Then we cut back to Gotham. Dick and Tim are having a discussion. Dick wants to help him, but Tim's not letting him because he wants to figure out. He knows that Bruce is alive and that no, and he wants to find him. Then he grabs Dick's arm and throws him off. Then they're driving. Tim's tracking where he needs to go, and we find Sam at a cave. About to check in the cave, and we find him looking at the bat carving that Batman, that Bruce Wayne made at the conclusion of Final Crisis number seven. Very, very interesting. Very important, I think. Then we cut back to Tim and Dick. Tim and Dick have an old scrawl. Then, then Tim asks him that if that he called him his equal. Equal, if we really are brothers, let, believe in me. Then he dri Then Tim drives out and tells him they, to be sure the demon doesn't destroy everything. They both built this problem. Tim comes out of the cave, saying that he's lost for a bit. Then, then all of a sudden, someone comes out of nowhere. The widower. He stabs. He kills all the three assassins. Then, and then stabs Tim. And Tim's lying there about to die. We see cut to all the dead guys and he says, I thought I would die as Robin. Then we cut to Rob saying, Did you find what you were looking for, Timothy? Timothy? And that's pretty much it for Red Robin. Um I might continue this title just to see where it goes, basically. Um, yeah. So yeah, good pretty good read. Um not sure if this is the conclusion to the so called Braille. Yeah, it is the conclusion, but I might get it just Keep this up just to see how things work out for Tim. And one of my favorite Robins. Okay, next we have Superman, World of New Krypton, number seven. Oh, yeah, the banner title now is World Against Superman. It was World Without Superman, now it's World Against. And I like this title, Neo Before Kal El. Cut the Superman, bring it. And Adar, or whoever the guy was, back. Kryptonian assassin back to New Krypton. Cut to the council distracting what they should do 
If they should declare war on Earth. Superman shows up. Says how many more people are going to have to die. That he says that Krypton. That Krypton's been reborn. They've all escaped death. And. And how many more will have to die before they can live in Earth, live with Earth in peace? They're discussing it a bit more. They point out that the gun used to kill, to attempt to kill Zod is was made on Earth. And then and they're trying to figure out what to do. But then all of a sudden, General Zod comes in and he names Ka and he names Kal El as his success as his replacement. All right, then, then Cal's in charge, and he Cal points out that he's a little feels a little funny about the shield being shown, because you know he, he's still Superman, and that's not what he does. So then, and then he so now Cal's in charge of Krypton. He asks for updates about the project to create a moon, and then he goes and sees his friend. Tyler Ver about all right Tyler Van that's his name he goes to see him about the new Krypton situation and and he says that he's that he's been his friend since the since he's been first back as a Kryptonian citizen and he wants to know how could Zod know about his choice to take over execution when he had a means of escape. So then he says he thought he found a friend Tyre, but it was really a spy. And his only excuse is that he's later revealed. He does what he's told. And then he says, Cal just says, I don't want to see you anymore. Get out. Do as you're told. Tyre flies off. Then Cal is called to duty. Yeah, duty. And he says, to take a look how the project is going, but apparently the squad to capture one of Jupiter's moons has been has been taken has been attacked. So Cal decides to leave a strike force out. They're heading toward like right, they didn't go to Jupiter, they're going to Mars, but they're heading off there and it's revealed that but they're in a battle with Thanagarians. Very interesting. And, and then they're fun. And they fight a little more, and then, they, and then they hear that their moon, that the moon they had was, is heading straight towards Krypton. All right, um, Superman World New Krypton. Um, it was kind of expected for me that Kal El would be in charge of New Krypton now that Talad's incapacitated. Um, yeah. Okay, it was pretty much an average. Re These were pretty much all average reads so far. Uh, you know. Good. Uh, all right. Uh, stay tuned for the black. Okay. So, stay tuned for the part three, which features the titles in the Blackest Night Saga.